Hello guys. Tonight I was playing with Windows XP, freshly installed on a virtual machine. I decided to install Microsoft Virtual PC 2007 because my computer does not work with VirtualBox or VMware. I don't know why. But here's the exciting new VM I've got here. And I found an interesting bug while surfing Windows XP. So the idea behind the bug is to activate a secret user in Windows XP. Or should I say that's not a user or some weird corrupted state? Windows, I don't really know. So to achieve that bug, we need to go ahead, open our computer, head over to the C drive, go to Windows, so we can show the contents. System32 and uh, here we got main files we only care about set hc.exe it's basically sticky keys whenever you press shift multiple times it gets sticky keys get activated in this case sticky keys got activated uh, even on my host machine so they're pretty annoying however we can use them to activate that bug I was talking about previously we need to find the command prompt somewhere here as well yeah so we copy and paste it it creates a copy so go ahead and rename it to set hc2 nice refresh again it just to make things simpler you know let's find set hc the original file that we are going to replace here's the set hc and we need to be quick because dll cache as a feature of Windows XP. So go ahead delete that and immediately just rename it to set HC. Alright, I think it worked. First try. Then I'm gonna show you the keyboard strokes for quick rename that I've just performed. Set HC. There it is, yeah. Now the best part about having set HC set to the command prompt is that whenever you press shift multiple times you get the command prompt instead of the sticky keys now that's awesome but what is the bug? let me show you to get the bug working you need to log off or restart the computer I'm going to do the latter It's going to take a while, so I'm going to cut it out. Yeah, it's booting. We will need to activate the sticky keys during the uh, startup process. Or should I say the logon procedure. Basically on the login screen you need to click shift multiple times. It will bring up the sticky keys dialog. However, since we have replaced it with the uh, command prompt, it's gonna bring up the command prompt. Pretty simple. Good, now we are onto the login screen. The sticky keys also work on the login screen. <coughs> Boom. We get an annoying sound, however, we also get the command prompt, and that's the main point of this video. So, you see, we get the command prompt on the login screen. However, if we log in, log back into our user it's gonna disappear just log off again see it's there again so there is probably a different user involved that I can't see there are lots of things you can do with this command prompt we can start the shell explorer. It is going to set up a desktop for some reason. And I have set it up with my user account. It's gonna take a little bit, but it's worth it. Here we go, I think the shell has initialized. Here's the system user, all caps. Go ahead and click on the uh, 
configuration. Oh, and here we get it, something corrupted. Null is null or not an object. I don't really know what it is, however. It's pretty funny, in my opinion. Another great thing we can do with the command prompt, we can close the login screen. Fred, we need the task manager. Task MGR. Hop in there. Find logon UI. It doesn't show in the applications because it's a system task. Let's end the process. Do it. Boom. We get a different logon screen this time. It's a fallback, I guess. You can just click control, I believe. But we just terminated logon UI. That works as well. Now, there is a broad arrangement of things you can do with the command prompt. However, I think the best part is the control panel. I don't think it works. Yeah, it just doesn't start. Oh wait, it does. However, it's just broken. <laughs> Look at this. It asks me to pick a category, but... It's not really a category view, it's just... It's just a list of things. User accounts don't work. I think other control panel applets do work. I haven't verified, but it's pretty cool. Ah, the system does not work, it just beeps at me. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, it wasn't system, it was the uh, start menu selection, wasn't it? Oh, it just froze. Now you can probably control and delete. It'll bring up the uh, task manager, not on my host. Put in the VM. I think it's add delete for the. Uh... Oh wait, never mind. The control panel is. Oh oh, the explorer has crashed. Not great. Let's restart it. back. It was probably the control panel that crashed Explorer, because they were of the same nature, and now we have a great category view that's not broken, and whenever we click icon view, it just breaks. And it, now we terminated the command prompt as well, so we have to reactivate the glitch. Run Explorer again. We can run the normal Explorer from here. Nothing much is happening, however, the status bar breaks. It doesn't feel well. <laughs> What's up with that? Holy crap. So it's like Internet Explorer, but inside Explorer. You show the contents. I fine. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> it needs some milk. We can navigate again. <laughs> we lost the uh, information bar to the left. It's also great. So this is a glitched Windows XP version for you. Whenever you replace the sticky keys with a command prompt and run unintended commands, Windows XP tends to not feel well. Especially in the control panel and Windows Explorer. And remember, null is null or not an object. Can't log in because I have no password. The interesting part about logging in, the explorer no longer shows your favorites in the start menu. And then it just crashes. <laughs> So yes, here's a little Windows XP glitch for you. Come explore it if you want. Thank you for watching.